Ah, you're lounging by the riverbank, not far from the beach, when you notice something curious. The water in the river suddenly surges in the direction of the ocean. You're puzzled, but there's no time for confusion. It's one of the signs of an approaching tsunami. Find elevated land right away. Keep in mind the water in a creek, river, or stream can also move away from the ocean or sea. It still means a tsunami is going to hit the area. Repeated wave surges can also warn you a tsunami is approaching. If you see unusual swells coming at regular intervals, it might be the time to evacuate to high ground. If you're at the ocean shore and see the water retreat from the beach at breakneck speed and leave behind bare sand, run away as fast as you can. This sudden outflow is likely a signal a tsunami is on the way. Your life will depend on how fast you react. If you spot an almost imperceptible rise in sea level, it can be another sign of an approaching tsunami. This phenomenon happens in 40% of cases. The incoming water is the first tsunami wave. The next one, way, way larger, comes in about 10 minutes. If you notice seawater bubbling, swirling, or creating bizarre patterns, it's a sure sign a tsunami's coming. While you're sailing, there might be sharks circling around. Keep an eye on them. If these predators suddenly leave you alone and head for deep water, it might mean a hurricane is drawing closer. Get back to dry land as fast as you can and warn others. If you see weirdly shaped trees that look like the letter J and grow on a slope, the ground under your feet might be unstable. Don't put your life at risk by wandering around. It can provoke a bad landslide. If your hair suddenly stands on end when you're outside, it can mean a lightning storm is near. Head inside immediately, otherwise a lightning bolt can hit you. Another sign a lightning strike is inescapable is a metallic taste in your mouth. Your palms become clammy, and you feel pinpricks all over your body. You have just enough time to get indoors or, at least, stay away from tall objects. An ocean swell up to 6 feet often means a hurricane is coming. But remember that this swell can happen 3 days before the hurricane arrives. The nearer it is, the larger the waves are. In the end, they can reach a height of 15 feet. If during periods of heavy rains you hear a roaring sound in the distance, it might be a flash flood moving in your direction. If so, you have no time to waste. Move away from that place as fast as you can. Flash floods are oftentimes lethal. Bees can predict heavy rainstorms. These insects begin to work much harder the day before it starts raining. Be careful if you spot conically shaped clouds. They mean severe storms. But if such a cloud starts to spin around, immediately get away from that place or search for shelter. The cloud is transforming into a tornado. On the bright side, only warm conical clouds should worry you. Cold ones are totally harmless. Some bugs can feel a storm coming. They get ready for the natural disaster by stopping any movement whatsoever. That's why if you notice that lots of insects around you look drowsy, search for shelter. If you have a catfish in your aquarium, pay attention to its behavior. Scientists have noticed that these species react to earth tremors. They become restless when seismic activity is high. Now, if for some reason you need to walk across a frozen lake or river, stay away from gray ice. This grayish hue might mean the ice in that area is very thin. You can find yourself in the freezing water in the blink of an eye. Do the clouds above your head look like narrow strips hanging low in the sky? Try to leave the area right away or find some shelter. Such a pattern means severe weather, most commonly a tornado is coming closer. If you see large hailstones falling from the sky, but there's no rain, it can be a sign a tornado is near. If you're at the beach and see wild choppy waves with ocean debris and seaweed, stay out of the water. This can be a sign of a strong rip current. It can carry you far away into the ocean. Square waves may sound like something unreal, but they do occur. It happens when two different wave patterns crash into each other. This phenomenon looks awesome, but only if you're watching it from the shore. Don't even think about getting in the water to play with such waves. In that place, there are cross currents that can easily pull under the water even a skilled swimmer. 
Once you see a spectacular wall cloud which can stretch for up to 5 miles, that's your cue to spring into action. In the best-case scenario, it's just a severe storm coming. But if the wall cloud begins to move in a circle, it's a sure sign of a tornado. You can figure out how close a thunderstorm is by measuring the time between spotting the lightning and hearing the thunder. Every 5 seconds equals 1 mile. If you see smelly green covering on a lake or sea surface, stay away from the water. It can be a hazardous algal bloom. You won't be able to tell whether it's toxic at first sight, so better steer clear of it altogether. Green skies scream danger. When they occur, it usually means a thunderstorm, hailstorm, or even tornado is somewhere nearby. The unique color appears when yellow sun rays get mixed with the blue light coming from storm clouds. To avoid a tree unexpectedly toppling over while you're under it, examine its trunk. If you spot large patches without bark or gaping holes, the wood is most likely weak and rotten. The tree can collapse if the wind is more powerful than usual. If the air outside starts to smell a bit like chlorine, a thunderstorm with heavy rain is on the way. The unpleasant odor comes from the ozone created by chemical reactions occurring during a thunderstorm. Toads can predict earthquakes. When they feel a bad earthquake is coming, they leave their homes. These animals can even stop mating during breeding season. While walking across a snowfield in the mountains, listen to the sound your feet make. If the sound is kinda hollow, check whether there are cracks around your footprints. If so, the chances are an avalanche is about to happen. If you're out in the wild, pay attention to the water in creeks, streams, and rivers. If it's quickly falling or rising, this might be a sign of a nearing landslide. And if you see the water turns muddy, don't wait for more evidence, get out of the area immediately. If you live in an old house, it's normal to have some cracks in your interior walls. But if you notice the widening of old fractures or appearance of new ones, it should serve as an alarm bell. If you live in an area with loads of limestone, new cracks can mean a sinkhole is about to open next to your house. If you're in an area near an active volcano, try to be super perceptive. If you feel even the tiniest earth tremors, a volcanic eruption might happen soon. If you notice tree leaves wilt all of a sudden, it might be because of an upcoming storm. Before extreme weather arrives, the air usually becomes more humid, and this dampness makes the leaves droop. And if you hear a high-speed train approaching, but there's no railway in sight, it might be a tornado coming closer. It can also sound like the deafening roar of an airplane taking off. This sound is created by the wind whirling at the core of the tornado at mind-boggling speeds. Got all that? Good.